The state of Texas is generally not known for its volcanoes as the state has not produced a volcanic eruption in 27 million years. In fact, the last volcano to produce such an eruption was Three Dyke Hill which lies in Big Bend National Park. However, if you go back further in the geologic history of the state, you will find that other areas of Texas once also contained volcanoes. One of these areas just happens to be located in the vicinity of Austin where a little known feature called Pilot Knob is located. Approximately 80 million years ago, this volcano produced a series of explosive eruptions, leaving behind a wide explosion crater and producing activity similar to that witnessed at the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano in the nation of Tonga. Although a certain TV show fictitiously had this volcano erupt, it is long extinct and will never erupt again. Approximately 79.5 million years ago, much of central Texas including the town of Austin was the site of a massive but shallow inland sea. This sea stretched from Galveston all the way to the North Pole and contained many unusual creatures in it such as the up to 6 foot wide swimming squid-like creature known as an ammonite which roamed the seas. On land, dinosaurs roamed the dense jungle and bogs which dotted the landscape. In this shallow sea, a previous geologic event had left a zone of weakness in the crust allowing for magma to intrude into it. A mountain building event between 318 and 271 million years ago called the Wachita Orogenide created a series of fold and thrust belts which remained in the crust for hundreds of millions of years. Magma traveled into these faults from at depth resulting in the creation of a chain of 75 small volcanoes in the region. One of these volcanoes which would later become known as Pilot Knob eventually erupted onto the sea floor producing a plume of steam on the surface. At depth, magma intruded onto the ground and slowly began building a large volcanic cone. Over the span of thousands of years, this volcanic cone grew shallower and shallower until the nature of its eruptions changed. During one subsequent eruption, the superheated lava caused a section of overlying water to flash to steam and explode. This created a 400 foot deep and 1500 foot wide crater and deposited debris in a ring shaped fan. As the eruption continued, more explosions occurred leading to the creation of a volcanic feature known as a tuff cone. Eruptions occurred in a cycle where water would fill the crater, flash to steam and explode, only to be followed by the emplacement of more ash around the volcanic cone. Eventually, a peripheral island popped up above the ancient ocean and began expanding in size to approximately a mile wide with a large water-filled central crater. Black and white plumes of ash and volcanic gases from this crater rose into the atmosphere as the lava continued to interact with the shallow seawater in what is termed a Saiyan style eruption. After the eruption ended, the movement of water due to storms and rainfall slowly washed away the island until nothing remained above the surface. Future eruptions brought Pilot Knob once again above the surface a few more times. Then, the volcano became extinct. In the many millions of years since, the two mile wide Pilot Knob was uplifted and the inland sea disappeared as sea levels decreased around the planet. Since then, the vast majority of this volcano eroded away, only leaving behind a little mound. While this mound most likely represents the center of the volcano, this is not a certainty and we may simply be looking at an eroded remnant of its edge. Regardless, the ash which was deposited during this volcano's formation today provides for excellent quality soil rich in nutrients which has allowed for farmers to prosper in the area. If these nutrients were not present, crops would take longer to grow and would not be as healthy. This basaltic volcano will never erupt again, but is an excellent example of a primarily submarine volcano during a different period of the planet's history. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron known as DY for supporting this channel.